Bro, actually, wait, there's an NRG vote. Guys, should I watch the NRG podcast or not? I saw the came out. I saw the came out. Should I watch it? No, 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 no podcast. Not the video. Not the podcast. Not the podcast. This one. This one. Is this mid? Sam or no? Watch only the endings. Let's face Let's watch the start. Let's watch the start. Let's watch the start. Let's watch the start. I don't like them. Watch the ending. Shit go crazy. Me and Cra me and Crashy's fuck off. Fuck off. No way. I don't believe it. Wait, what did he say? What did he say? What the Sam? This finger. That means I don't like them. Put up this finger, these two fingers, I like him. I just know Sam's gonna go round one, 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 one. Yeah, okay, here. Where's Ethan? He's doing a content. A wild dan, there's a wild dan, bro. It's a wild what do you dan. Mean he's doing content. We did a team picture, bro. He left chat, it's fine, bro. Bro, he's a funny guy, bro. He's a funny guy, bro. <laughs> bro, the thing is, dad doesn't have a clue. He's like, yeah. So that was not the Watch plan. from min 32. Take pictures. Bro, <laughs> what do you mean watch for a minute 32, bro? Chat, you're f It was like a switch flips, and we just were unable to play the game. He's coming, Chat, you're f Chat, you're f Glass, mark it, CT. Nice, how's that? Alright, double marking him. Look yeah. at Vic, watch Vic, watch Vic, watch Vic, okay. Okay guys, watch Vic, calm down guys. Oh my god! After we Bro. lost, I think uh, my reaction was pretty raw, I would say. No. <laughs> Bro, this is a raw reaction, this is a raw reaction. Bro, that shit, bro, that, you can see it here, bro. You can see it, like, bro, that shit flew off stage, bro. That, that's just still rolling, bro. That shit's still rolling. After we lost, I think, uh, my. Got to be 10k? No, that's like, bro, I think them headsets are like 5k. I think they're, like, actually, like, expensive as fuck. raw, I would say. I didn't really, like, it took me a minute to understand what happened. Definitely, like, shocked. He got dropped? I mean, I doubt he got dropped just because of this, bro. I highly doubt it. One of the few. Few times I've been shocked in my career, like after a loss. I mean, yeah, we knew it was over when we lost, and yeah, he's, well, he stormed off stage. Bro. You see, he just stormed off stage. Kind of just sat there. Wait, <laughs> bro, he stormed off stage to come back, bro. For a after we lost, the guy, the guy forgot his keyboard and mouse, bro. <laughs> the guy, bro, the guy's fucking ran off stage, bro, and he's like, shit, my keyboard and mouse, bro. <laughs> That's pretty. That's a pretty devastating way to go out. I'd rather just get 2-0. Like okay, let me let me let me, let me read that up, bro. Let me read that up, bro. Let me read that up, bro. Shocked. One of the few times I've been shocked in my career, like after a loss. I mean, yeah, we knew it was over. <laughs> we lost. He f***ed off, and he's like, shit, my keyboard, the mouse, bro. For a minute after we lost, because that's a pretty that's a pretty devastating way to go out. Ah, I'd this you're so f What? You hate Vic? Nah, I got no against Vic. But honestly, the, the, the time on NRG, I enjoyed, bro. I enjoyed the time on NRG. It's just that... I mean, I didn't enjoy it. But I enjoyed some of it. I don't know. It's like, it's weird. It's weird. There's some parts I enjoyed and some parts I didn't enjoy. Vic is a screen... Uh, Vic, Vic's just flexible, bro. Vic's like... Vic's like a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Does that make sense? Like, he's, he's good at everything, but like, he's not, like, perfect at one. Does that make sense? That's the best way I'd, I'd describe Vic. Clifton, that's... No, because I'm saying he's good at everything. Like, he's a good duelist. He's a good sentinel. He's a good initiator. Like, if he played smoke, he's probably good. But he's not, like, Aspas level at anything, you know? He's not Aspas duelist. He's not Aspas, like, or, like, uh, or a Nat sentinel, you know what I mean? Just didn't really know how to adjust somehow. And losing a 12 fight lead like that is just not something you expect to happen, especially when you have as much experience and, and quality on the team as we do. You mean he's mid? No, I just mean he's like, just like, he's good at everything. How's that mid, bro? If I'm saying someone's good at everything, how's that me calling him mid, bro? I don't understand. I actually just don't know. Oh, this guy, guys, 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 guys. This guy here is the funniest guy ever, bro. This guy here, bro. Rye, 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 rye. This guy here is the funniest manager ever, bro. Rye, rye, rye. <laughs> He's actually funny as fuck, guys. I remember just walking back to the frack room and I was just like in my own head, just thinking about a lot of things. What we could have done better, what we could have done. Then we got into the practice room and obviously like emotions are high and 
Like we just started talking and eventually- Crashy shows a smile and then he saw the camera. He definitely did not want to smile, bro. Oh, what you're getting? What, he wants to smile? What? What are you saying, bro? He wants to smile, bro. I remember just walking back to the frack room and I was just like in my own head, just thinking about a lot of things. What we could have done better, what we could have done. Then we got into the practice room and obviously like emotions are high and like we just started talking and eventually like disagreements, things like that. I mean, it's kind of, you kind of expect that after a, a, a really big loss, especially in the way that we lost, probably like the worst way possible. I mean, bro, I, I... There's no comp. Vic, Vic, Vic wants to go out, so there's like calm no Okay, Vic, okay, for what I'm getting from this, like, look, everyone's, like, looking at each other and talking. Vic's just not, like, doesn't want to be a part. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm overlooking, though. There's no comms. Vic, Vic, Vic wants to go out, so there's, like, comm I'm number so one. I'm like, far. okay, I'm flashing. Yeah, it's I, comm I, I heard the comms. I so there's just, it. like, no one's saying, wait. No one's I mean, saying they want to wait for fine. Oh, we were ready. Me and Sam were ready. Yeah, Sam was ready, but he got spent through a smoke, and I'm like, wait. The 4v2 and retake, missed, like, the to 4v2 it. retake where we're diffusing the I'm surprised I've added this in, by the way. I'm surprised I've, like, left this in. A bomb, and there's two in B main. We have to win this round. I don't- yeah, I, I was wondering if you pushed them. Correct players are not pushed them. I can't counter spam. They have smokes. Okay, okay. okay, so Vic's listening. Current smokes. Okay, no, no, no. The, the smoke faded away. We had plenty of time. No, I didn't do anything. Yeah. Brain it's honestly been a really tough year. Oh. I think the biggest learning lesson I can take from this year was that I need to be like less hard on myself and less hard on the team when we're having like down periods and bad bad periods. Vic looks jacked. He is, bro. Ja Listen, Vic is massive, bro. This guy is like this guy could probably bench press anyone in this chapter, bro. Low key, bro. This guy's massive, bro. Actually, periods like we're losing tons of matches in a row. Um, Someone said the chat put the subtitles on, bro. I think the one thing I can learn is just to not, not, just not to be so hard on people and, and especially myself. There was a lot of challenges this year and just a lot of things that you know I couldn't foresee that I had to deal with, especially with our first roster. I had a lot of leadership qualities and like split one that I didn't really like know I could bring out. Uh, it was definitely one of the harder years of my career, I would say, and I really put my all into this year, and it definitely. I feel bad for them, bro. I feel bad for them. It sucks to fail the way we. They went from like they went from like every land to literally zero lands. Actually, the same for me, bro. I know how it feels to be this shit, bro. I actually know ex I know the exact same feeling the Navi, the energy of feeling. Did you don't feel bad? I don't feel bad for them, but like I understand the feeling. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't feel bad for them, but I understand the feeling. Does that make sense? You're right, bro. You're right. You're right. I I understand how it feels, bro. That's that's the best way to put it. I definitely learned that. It, nah, you're gritted to you. No, that's Marv, bro. Marv's, it, Marv is gritted to you to me, bro. It's better to keep it simple than overcomplicating things. It's definitely better to just do what you know works than try. The thing is, though, John, we, we knew this before, bro. John, see, see what he's saying here was we had the same thing. We had the same problem in, uh, in, in our energy roster. Let me see. Energy roster. What is it? Energy. Right here, we agreed as a team after this loss to go back to normal roles. This game, uh, look, look at my roles. Raze, Killjoy, like, uh, Jet, what is it? MIBR, I'm playing Sage, Raze, Killjoy. Is, I'm playing, like, random roles. Then after this game, they said, Ah, this, you're, you're Jet only. You're going to play Jet only. You're not playing, like, what is it? You're not playing anything else. And we just started the farm. Like, look, Crashy's only one agent. Like, we we, we, we just went to back to basics, bro. And we started winning after this. We start, I think we won, like, six. Yeah, look, look, we literally won out of this. So I'm surprised they didn't like learn from the mistake. For me and Sam, we knew it was a risk coming back and trying to, you know, help make this a winning roster. But I knew for a fact and Sam knew for a fact that we had the ability to play. And we also just, it, at worst case scenario, which I think is this scenario right now where we lost, we still learn a lot. We still gain a lot of experience. And yeah, so when Jack said, yeah, Sonya, they didn't have enough time. Bro. They had they had one super week that decided the whole year in one week. Like, how Riot have allowed this, I don't understand. Look, in eight days, they had three matches. If, if Riot can tell me how this is even acceptable, in eight days, they played three matches, after you had... Go into the next year with that experience and knowing what we, we need to do differently next time. I guess the only lesson for me is like, well, it's not even a lesson. I guess like the only thing for me is kind of like, yeah, I like competing. It's it's just 
you get way more excited, more like enjoyment. No, I think everyone would much rather have more games in, in Valorant. I don't think there's a single pro that I speak to, like off stream, who says to me, oh yeah, I'm happy with playing 10 games a year, bro. I don't think there's a single one, bro. I don't think there is one. The only people who are unhappy in Valorant right now is the ones who go to every event. But that is a problem that you much rather have. You, if you're going to every event, that's a problem that I, I don't mind having. If I'm going to every event, that's fine. But if you don't qualify to every event, you, you have three months off. Leo Farley said audience over... Bro, the audience is going to... like. The audience is only there because it's an upset match every time. If you lose one game, your season's over. So of course, you're going to have more audience. But look like look at CS, bro. They have an audience consistently, bro. Every day, every week, bro. Consistently. Audience watch all matches? Yeah, of course, like... It's just strange, I don't know. It's As opposed strange. to for me it's streaming. Very but like definitely being on that stage and meeting my fans is definitely the biggest thing for me. Like every time after a match, I'm like looking forward to like meeting everyone, win or lose. W sum, W sum, W sum. Because I know even if I lost, like... These guys, just, they just cheer me up. This guy yeah, has... Like, even after the bro, loss. Bro, this guy has fans around the world, bro. A fa bro, this guy is like worldwide, bro. Genuinely, he has fans everywhere, bro. If I, if I had any fans come up to me, it'd be like me like signing a cock or some shit, bro. This guy actually has like actual genuine fans, bro. Appreciate you guys supporting you know, you know, us through a pretty bad season. No, no, the one I thing... You guys stuck. The one, listen, the one thing I love about Sam, okay, is he... It's one of the rare people in Twitch, like rare people in esports, where what you see on Twitch is what you see in real life. He's one of the rare people where, like, he he doesn't put anything on. He's not fake. He's, he, he, bro, he's one of the nicest, genuine, genuinely one of the nicest people I've, I've met in Valorant, and he deserves everything he gets, bro. You can say glaze whatever you want, but he deserves everything he gets, bro. Genuinely, bro. So he's brain dead. What? I don't know what you're saying, bro. But like, genuinely, he's a super nice guy, bro. Genuinely, genuinely. I'm not even trolling, bro. Uh, uh, we started off really strong. We were able to win. How have I came back here, bro? Our results, because we should be, we should be, and we are better than what we presented. Uh, Arthur wants to spot on. No, I, I'm not. I'm, I'll never move back to NA ever again, ever again. And after the after the year I had in LA, I just did, I didn't enjoy it because the time zone is just fucked, bro. It's just it's just fucked. I'm sorry we didn't win this year, but I fully intend to compete next year. I'm still striving. Unban me from Sam's chat. Okay, give me sub. First you need to sub, and then I'll view your message in Sam's chat, and I might unban you. We have to sub first, bro. Striving for another trophy. So is Sam, so is the rest of the team, so is this organization. And that's one thing I haven't brought to this organization is a trophy. And they've been so good to me, so I want to repay them the best that I can with a trophy. I want to thank my streaming community. I want to thank all the fans that supported myself, Sam, and the rest of the team. It does you know how it is. Sweet. And I think it's very easy to hate on people when they're down, but the people that supported us when we were down, that just means everything to me and to my team. So thank you for consistently being there for that. To all the fans that have been here this whole year and even last year, you're always so focused on competing and winning and not losing that you don't really get to take in for a moment how many people you inspire or you know how much fun it is for people to watch you play things like that um definitely it's official that and actually it's on twitter now is it it's confirmed wait it's actually oh sh bro wait is it not confirmed yet or no hey it's not on vli yet a lot of hate this year so to the fans um it's definitely warranted and you know we hear you guys and uh we hope to right the wrongs that you know this year did and even last see, year see you're so, dunzo, bro. You're dunzo. see you're done so you are done so see you are done so bro